Hi, and welcome to my channel, Aisha Aliyah. I have got a first trimester update to give you guys. I am currently now out of my first trimester. This is just a little update. I wanted to do a first trimester update. So when I was out of the first trimester as of my miscarriage, which I will tell you guys about later. If you hear a baby talking in the background, I'm sorry, that's my little brother, Zaya. Um, anyway, week six, week six, I just found out I was pregnant at week six. I had a little bit of spotting, which I thought was my period, but it turns out it wasn't my period. Um, so I didn't find out until I was pregnant until I was six weeks along. At that time, baby is the size of a sweet pea. That's really little. I also had a scan at six weeks, which is this picture right here. See the baby's the size of sweet pea, so very, very small. This was at, I thought I was six weeks one day, when I actually was six weeks four days. <laughs> so the baby's measuring a lot bigger. Day. average um, week six is when my morning sickness started and is that it? <laughs> sorry about that week seven is when baby is the size of a blueberry not much really happened week seven just the normal symptoms I started with just morning sickness week eight baby is the size of a raspberry I had morning sickness from week 8 to about week 10 and I also had a scan at week 8. Here's my scan, ultrasound photo of week 8. See the little baby, the size of a raspberry. And the heartbeat was 165 beats per minute. I also had that scan, yeah, eight weeks. I was eight weeks, one day. Next one is Miss, my um, baby was the size of a green olive at nine weeks, the size of a green olive. I was very happy to know that my baby made it past week nine as I miscarried away, I miscarried in week, week nine nine weeks one day which is really sad but I'll tell you more about that in a story time of my miscarriage story um, week 10 baby is if I keep looking down here as I've got notes written baby is the size of a prune at week 10 um, at week 10 I started to get very tender boob and veins oh this is the TMI but veiny really veiny breasts um, at week 11, baby is the size of a large strawberry, so that's probably about yeah, that big. Um, still the same symptoms, morning sickness, tender boobs, veiny boobs, oh, and cravings. I started to crave Vegemite, tuna, apples, but not normal apples, like, Granny Smith apples, so the very sour apples. I just started craving sour lollies. I don't know. I just couldn't. I just really, really wanted it. I also got food aversion, so some of my favorite foods like pizza. I did not like eating it. Um, week 12 is when I had my week 12 ultrasound photo scan, which I didn't get a picture of. They just gave me gave it to me on a DVD, but everything was fine. He had all his arms and legs and he was, they were moving around, he or she was moving around, wiggling and yeah it was really exciting to see. Maybe I can try and put the clip in this video but we'll see. If not then I'll make a separate video of my week 12 scan video. Um, week 13 baby is the size of a lemon. So yeah. 
that big. Week 13, nothing really much changed, just the normal morning sickness, all that stuff. So there's not much really to update from week 6 to 13. Um, my symptoms are pretty much the same all the way through. Uh, I'll be posting a bump picture of week 6 to week 13 at the end of this clip. And anyway, if you guys could please like, comment and subscribe for more videos, I will appreciate it and keep you updated with my pregnancy. Anyway, thank you Angel. Bye.